We making red beans and rice. Let's get it. Now, if you guys look right here, you see I got some ingredients right here. I bet you guys didn't know it was just this that goes in this and these right here. Look, I got two chicken and dewy sausages right here. And then I got myself a smoked link right here. This right here is going to take it over the top, right? Now, I'm not going to say it's authentic, but listen, we're going to get you close. Now, with it being the summertime, right? You know what I mean? Uh, we don't want to like heat our kitchen up and stuff like that, especially for all of my folks that's down south. You know what I mean? So the easiest thing to do is use your crock pot. Let it do all of the work, right? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my beans, right? I got a little pro tip for you. Listen, we gonna boil these beans, right? We gonna boil them for about 10 minutes, but look, I just wanna open them up. If I see anything crack, I get rid of them or if I find any rocks, but I can tell you I live in a concrete jungle and just about everything that gets through has been like checked already, right? They just got strenuous laws. Now, let me go ahead and go through the rest. And what I'll do is, We'll move over to the next step. Now, once I, you know, sort it through them, check them all, right? This is what you want to do. You want to add some water, right? Now that I have my water, I'm gonna put my top on. I'm gonna put these on the stove. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. I just want to get these going. Actually, I'm gonna set a timer for about, about three minutes. I mean, 13 minutes. I'm gonna add three minutes for this to go ahead and, you know, get hot. All right, so listen, while we boiling, you know, and getting it going, right? Giving everything a head start. Now we just want to take our celery, right? And what we're gonna do is just cut them down like this, the long way. And now you can go ahead and just dice these up. So really what we're doing is we're doing a little prep work. This should take you about 10 minutes, folks, to have everything inside of the, you know, your crock pot. Okay, so now this right here, this is a Cajun smoked, you know, smoked sausage, right? So what I'm doing now is just cutting this down. You guys can cut them in any size you want to, any shape, however you want to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, I like to have a lot of little, you know, I like for mine to be a little bit on the meaty side, you know what I mean? So that right there, do it. And if you guys come in here and look real closely, you can just see that right there. Look at that right there. That, all of that, all of them spectacles and all of that and that color, hmm, that's what you call flavor, folks. That's what we're going to infuse in these red beans. Now this one over here, this is a, Listen to this, this is chicken andouille. I know that I'm doing, you know, two different types of uh, andouille sausages, but this right here, I love the flavor from this. You guys have been watching me for a minute. You know that anything that I do, just about always gonna have, you know, some chicken andouille in, in it. Okay, folks, so listen, I just took these off. These boil for exactly 10 minutes. You can see them right there. See the little steam? steam? What I did was I did drain the water. Now we just add these to the crock pot. All right, so listen, when I tell you dump and go, super easy, summertime madness, this right here is it, right? So now I'm gonna take my onion. I'm just gonna add my onion. I'm gonna do it like this. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. I mean, you can. I'm doing it this way just to show you guys, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring my celery into the game. We'll just put the celery right here. Then we bring our sausage. And again, I'm staging this this way just so you guys can see. What you do is after you put your beans in, or really not even no particular order, just put it all in here and stir it all up. You know what I mean? And then go from there. You know, just set it and you come back to it. But if I do it this way, you guys will be able to see it, right? Now I'm gonna bring my garlic. Got my press here, time to make myself, you know, smile. I don't know why it is that just pressing garlic is just so gratifying to me. Look at that right there. Oh yeah, let me hold it down. You see all of the garlic that tried to like squirt out, all right? I'm just gonna take it. I took the back side of my knife. Look at that, pure mixed. Okay, so to get that good flavor, listen, we gonna go with the Creole kick, right? And don't forget the full recipe, which is now downloadable, is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Okay, so once you put the Creole kick in, now I'm gonna add better than bouillon. You guys can use chicken stock. You can actually use beef stock. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna go with the more on the, you know, the chicken side. This is where I get all of that flavor from, folks. So I'm gonna add six cups of water, right? So I'm gonna add a couple heaping teaspoons, tablespoons, excuse me. A couple heaping tablespoons of better than bouillon chicken flavor, right? So I wanna get it all. I don't want nothing to stick to nothing. I'm gonna just do it like this. I want everything that I put on the spoon off of here. Now, when you see it like this, now you understand why I did it that way. So you guys can see just everything that we did and really truly prep time is really 10 minutes. 
you can't get this one wrong but when you you know your end result you ain't gonna be able to beat that so now i'm gonna add my six cups of water then you're going to get yourself like a wooden spoon and then we just mix it all up and then we set it now you want to mix it good because don't forget we use that better than bouillon right you guys can use uh, chicken bouillon cubes, wherever you would like to get your flavor along with your Creole or Cajun, you know, seasoning to get you and get you close to that authentic taste. Trust me, folks, make this all the time, especially when you want to have this during the, you know, these heat hot months, you know, but you got everything mixed up. Look at this right here. It looks good. You can look at the liquid and just see it's full of color. That's all of your seasoning and everything that you put in there along with your better than bouillon, right? Only thing left to do is add your bay leaves right get those in there and let those start working then you want to put your top on right i'm gonna give you guys a pro tip listen when you're using a crock pot don't take the top off to try to stir later or nothing like that because when you do just don't forget you got to add 30 minutes onto your cook all right so now we're just going to hit the power right we're going to go with a high cook we're going to go for six hours then i hit start i'm not going to bother it no more we're going to let it be and i'll see you in six Okay, folks, look, it's been exactly six hours. I can tell you right now, this is fire. Listen, so if you guys made this, went to work, then came back. So this type of uh, crock pot or slow cooker, right? What it does is after you put the desired time on there and when it's done, it is set to warm. But I haven't done anything. I haven't taken it off. You can see it's still in there cooking. But check this out. When I open this up, oh my goodness, look at that right there. Now this will be the first time I gave it a stir. Right, look at that right there. Ooh -wee. Oh man, this is, this is gonna get them, folks. Now, let's look at the texture, right? Now, if you guys want this to be a little bit thicker, look, I'm gonna give you just a heads up right now. This is why I use two pounds, right? Because I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna take them and I'm just gonna mash them up against the side like this. Sometimes I take them out, you know what I mean? If I take them out, I put them inside like a, a four cup Pyrex, you know, measuring cup, and then I'll just take them, take a ladle and just mash them up but this right here i'm just gonna do a little bit and then you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and take these out my bay leaves all right folks so you see it i didn't okay so after i was mashing i got the thick the, the thickness that i'd like right you guys can if you want it thicker than that you can but i'm gonna tell you this right here is right even the way you saw it when it was done that was perfect you know what i'll take it out them bay leaves got a little bit on my finger went ahead and just oh my goodness all right so anyway now we just put this right here on top you know what I mean? Look at that right there. I should have got a ladle, but if you guys want some red beans and rice, look at this. See, it's still thick enough for it to like fall down and get on the rice. And then for those of y'all that really like to get a little bit of that, look at that right there. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, listen, you've seen it. I'm finna go just give you a quick recap. Don't forget, you don't have to uh, heat up your home. You know, that's the main thing. You could put this on, you know, run some errands and then you have a great meal at the end of the day. And don't forget, I got several different, you know, uh, cornbread options for you. Don't forget, it's on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now I can barely talk because this has been waiting on me. Look at this right here. I don't know about y'all. But you know what? I'm ready to eat, folks. Ooh, a double up. Check it out. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Check it out, folks. Listen, I hate to be the one that had to pat myself on the back, but this right here is fire, folks. Hey, not only is it fire, every one of these red beans and rice that I have made in the past for the last seven years, folks, have been just right on point. Try this. Let me know down in the comment section below. And check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Happy summer, and I'm about to be out. Peace. Thank you.